profile and obviously i am neo do you want to explain that neo was chosen just like others are chosen many were called but few are chosen and these are the people that are willing to take the risk and understand that if they leave the system that they've been in for their entire life that they can actually have everything that they want. There is no limitation limitations except the limitations that you impose on yourself and the limitations of the mind. And Neo is very interesting because I've been talking about the matrix since 2020. I've been talking about how people perpetrated uh, humanity and enslaved humanity, uh, not with whips anymore and picking cotton, but with something called fractional reserve banking and the federal reserve and the, and the slave system in this wage system that people live under. And what I came to realize was that I was that person, but I became free from that, whether it's through the will of God or whether it was, you know, I got lucky, you can call it whatever you want, right? Whatever you want, I got out. And what happens when you have a ton of money? Well, very simple. It no longer becomes fun, you just, you just have money. So now I'm in the pursuit with Capital Club of unplugging people that are ready to be unplugged that have potential. And what I realize is a lot of people just need somebody to believe in them more than they believe in themselves. And I am that guy. I've been that guy. I've been that guy to you. I've been the guy to a lot of these come up kids. And I'll continue to be that guy because I understand what it takes to make it. Not from an impractical point of view, not from a a, a non-tangible, you know, Dan Bilzerian with a hundred bitches, but unapproachable point of view. No, no, no. A guy that knows how to make money, knows how to multiply money, knows how to keep money, but understands one very basic principle. Mm. And the principle is that wealth is more than just capital gains. Wealth is a quadrant of life. And the quadrant is divided into four categories, health, wealth, love, and happiness. If you do not have these four quadrants in your life, you're truly not successful. So I see a lot of people talking about money. I see a lot of people talking about uh, bitches. You know, it it seems to be the trend nowadays, but their life isn't whole. Their life lacks completion. Their life lacks uh, balance. And I said this once and I'll say it again. It's the wealthiest man is the one that wakes up with least pressure on his chest. And the reason I know this is because here in Puerto Rico lives the richest guy in crypto. I I I just got off another live stream And, uh, you know, this guy, I'm not going to say his name, but this guy, you know, walks around all day drunk. He's, he's, he's all day baked out of his mind. He's not there. Uh, he's had like crazy turmoil. The dude can't sleep at night. He's got tens and tens of billions of dollars in the bank account. Is that success? Hmm. Is that success? No, it's not. Why? Because your goal was to be free, but you just became a slave to something else. (laughs) So you became a slave to something else. Success is what is it really? Uh, well, I know what you mean, the least pressure, but what does success really mean? That's what success is to me, is the person that understands how to unlock completion and balance and f- fulfillment in their life. Like, that's what it's about. Dude, a thousand years ago, 2,000 years ago, they were fucking trading cows, bro. So would you say those guys are successful? They were trading cows. Dude, it was cows back in the day. Money is an illusion. Dollars in the bank account don't mean shit. If you have no health, dude, do you know, I can guarantee you for a fact when Steve jobs was sitting on his, on on his deathbed with cancer, he would have given up everything to be you Mm -hmm. everything, but he couldn't why? Because he lacked a quadrant of true wealth, which is health. Like he lacked it and it's okay, dude. I remember when I was doing door to door sales in Tennessee, I've never told this story. I drive down this because you could just kind of go, um, go really like uh, the in, in Tennessee they have like these big properties they're like 100, 200 acres long and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. And I go down this th- this driveway with all like these super beautiful trees. It's like a three mile long driveway. I'm like, who the fuck lives down here? Because you can just drive into into the like houses and 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 knock on doors. And I go and I knock on this door. And a nurse responds, a male nurse responds. It's this big ass house, like a house, one of the biggest houses I've ever seen in my life. And he knocks on, I was like, hey, is like the owner of the house here? And he's like, oh no, he's, he's, uh, he's sick, he's, he's bedridden. 
uh, and I see through the windows a guy like in his fifties. He like peeks over, and he's in his and, he, and he's wearing diapers, bro. He's wearing diapers. And he's the <laughs> owner. Of, he's the, he's the owner of this big ass estate, this big ass estate, the, the, probably worth tens of millions of dollars. But he has no health. He has to be spoon fed, and his ass needs to be wiped by another man. Is that success? God no, it's, to me, it's not success. Now, I understand you're 85, you're 90 years old, you're reaching the, the end of your life. Things happen, right? But my point is, if you truly want to become successful, it's a balance of life, brother. And people don't want balance. People want fast, instant gratification. They're, sing, they're single verticals, right? They're one or two dimensional, but they lack the fullness of life. I asked so many entrepreneurs, how many countries have you been to? Oh, I bet. well, I went to Mexico. That's what they tell me. Oh, well, I went to... I went to Jamaica, but they lack fullness of life, bro. They've never been around. They don't know how to, how to live life. It's fucking crazy. And then they come to me, they, they flex on me some bullshit ass Rolex watch or some Lambo, even if they bought it and they're foreign and they're whipped. And they think that somehow like life is about that. If life is measured by the size of the box that you live in, then you lost, you lost before you started. And I'm telling this to you as a guy that's made tens of millions of dollars. And I can tell you, once you've made it, you're like, oh shit, like now what? What happens after money? Most of you guys don't even know. And that's when the journey begins because money only solves problems that money can solve. And then you're left with a ton of problems that money cannot solve. And those are the problems that you think money is going to solve, but it truly doesn't. So don't play yourself.